Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here and you enjoy watching um, luxury content, experiences, shopping, um, please, um, it would mean the world to me if you could go ahead and subscribe. If you are returning and a current subscriber, welcome back. Um, it is great to have you here. Um, I love the support and I love chatting with you all about, about the different products that I show you. So please um, keep commenting, keep sharing your experience as well as um, I, I love going in there and checking that out. But Anyways, I wanted to jump in today. I'm so excited, as I'm sure many of you who've seen some of my videos before can imagine. Look who's sitting next to me. She's mine, the Gucci Jackie bag. I have been obsessing over this bag. I had seen it, it was in one of my, it was in another video I did like the top four cream bags that I was looking at. Um, and then I went to the Gucci outlet, um, uh, the Gucci outlet, the Gucci store, with um, my husband and my daughter and I tried it on and I absolutely fell in love with it. But this is what happened. This is why I didn't buy it in that moment because um, just the month prior, I bought the Louis Vuitton Cousin bag. Um, and it just really wasn't in my budget with a lot of expenses that I've had recently to spend another $3,000 on a bag. So um, I did the smart thing. I handed it back to the saleswoman. It was the hardest thing because I just loved her so much. Um, and I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. Um, but I handed it back to the sales associate and I was like, you know, I can't do it now. Maybe come this spring, I can pull the trigger on it. <sighs> well, it's February, so I didn't wait that long. But what had happened is once I came home, I started looking at the pre-owned market. Um, which by the way, I'm going to be doing another video on very shortly here. Um, to just go through buying and selling pre-loved designer items, um, specifically bags, because that's where my expertise kind of lies. Um, so coming soon, if you're interested in that, definitely subscribe um, so that you could be alerted when that comes out. But I had, after seeing this bag in person in the Gucci store, I kept just checking the pre-loved market and seeing if I could find a gently used um, bag in the color that I had wanted. Um, and it just so after a few weeks of looking, I'd say I'd probably just do a quick search every other day. And after uh, a few weeks, I did see a pre-loved bag um, that I got for half off. I spent, I spent half the price on this bag, um, which I'm just so, I'm just so excited about because it's in such good condition. It's in perfect condition. Um, it's, I believe it to be authentic. Um, it and one of the things with that, I'll say more of this for my um, for my video on buying and selling. But um, w when I purchased it, so there were a few major things that I looked at, and I am going to get it also professionally authenticated on my own. It's also returnable for thirty days. Another big thing that I look for. Um, so, anyways, but. I think what also helps is I saw this bag live in person in the store. So I got a very close look at the leather, the texture, the, um, the, the piston buckle here that this, this bag has that I just, I'm obsessed with this buckle. I love it so much. It looks, it's just so classy, so understated. Um, the fact that here, if you're looking at the strap, so I have worn it cross body, you can take off this strap here. You see it disconnects right here and right here, and then it reconnects, whoop, it reconnects, you could put the strap in here and then you could wear it over your shoulder. Um, the only reason that I'm not taking it off at the moment and showing you is it's really hard to get on and off. Um, it's really sturdy, which I actually, I really like. Um, the, you know, the metal and the, um, the, the clasps here are just very, they're made very well, so they'll hold, you don't have to worry about them you know, flopping or anything like that and potentially coming undone. Um, but I honestly, I think this bag looks so great both ways and I love the versatility of it. Um, and I just think it's such a classy understated bag. And to be quite honest, out of all of the bags that I have in my collection, this is my favorite one right now. Like who would have thought, you know, I have a Chanel double flat bag. I have multiple Louis Vuitton bags and I have Chloe bags that I, and, and I love all my bags, but I just, this is one of your, I don't know. I, I just really 
everything about this bag when I saw it. I was like, that needs to be my bag. I just love it so much. So I wanna quickly show you what fits in size, just show you the size of it today. So this is a size small. This is the color, um, this is the, the, the white color. It's more of like a, a, a creamish ivory rather than like a stark white, which I think is really pretty. I think the color also makes it really appropriate to be worn in the winter and the summer and the fall and the spring. Um, a very year round versatile light bag, which I really, really love because I, I think this especially just looks so pretty against ambers and black like mixed together and then you have this and I just think it's such a good look. Um, you could see here like the shirt I'm wearing today, um, if I were to wear this like with black jeans and some cute shoes and then this bag would be a perfect complement to it as well, um, whether I'm wearing this in the spring or the fall. Um, so I just, I, I really, um, I just think this bag really goes with a lot. It's really classy without being too fancy to use during the day. Um, so I just think it's one of the most versatile bags that I have. The size isn't too big, but it does quite fight, quite fight. It does fit quite a bit. Um, and I have it packed up the same way that I took it out yesterday. So I just wanted to, to show you what's inside the bag as well. So like I said, it's got this very beautiful clasp on it. I brought out my sunglasses. This is a small water that I got while I was out. My wallet, my keys, and um, a lip balm, a, a, a lip treatment, and a lip balm to go over it. Um, that is all that I had in the bag, but I also had my camera, which I'm shooting with right now, so I can't throw that, um, my camera, my phone, so I can't throw that in, but here, I'll just give you a quick look at the interior as well. The interior is, interior is this beautiful microfiber, which has a suede quality to it. You can see the Gucci tag right here on the zipper. Um, on the opposite side of that, you'll see the serial number that it has. Um, which is more of, it's not a particular serial number. Each bag doesn't get its own. It's more of the, I think it's the, the date um, that it was made and the location that it was made in. So some bags have the same one. It's got this great zip pocket here on the inside. And then it's also got this nice sizable pocket in here too. And that's where I had my phone sitting in um, yesterday. And I have the iPhone 12 Mac. So it, it's big enough to uh, to slide right into this um, additional side pocket here. And it was definitely not overstuffed. I will say I probably couldn't have fit much more in there. Um, maybe, you know, a small pack of tissues, but again, I like the look of it so much. If I put everything back inside, so keys, lips, all of it. Move my keys, get that. You do have to arrange a little bit. All right, so this is closed. And then thinking about my phone in here. Yeah, I could definitely get like a small pack of tissues or a hand sanitizer or something like that in here as well. But you see how it looks. Um, I love that it doesn't look overstuffed right now. I, I don't know how, how it would look if it was all pushed out. I, I really just like how it folds in a little bit here and I think it gives it a really nice look. So I probably wouldn't put too much more in it. But if that's all you needed to carry, then this is the perfect bag. Um, the other thing that I love is I wore this all day yesterday shopping um, with my daughter and it was perfect for that. Um, it's also perfect for an evening out um, and just the right size to carry just what you need. So I really, this bag is just absolutely stunning. I think this is going, I, I mean, it would be my guess that this is like the Gucci bag of 2023. I know it came out, um, it, it was re-released in 2020, the Jackie bag, but uh, I believe it was 2020. But I just think with, um, you know, I, I wouldn't say mini bags on their way out or anything. I know people are still getting them and looking at them, but just um, as a bag that really can be more casual, can be more dressed up, looks so good, is such a classic. Um, I talk about the story in, in, in one of my other videos where I talk about how much I needed this bag. Um, so if you haven't watched it, please go back to that if you want to know more of the history behind it. But um, it, it's just a beautiful bag. And for the pre-love market, getting it at half price um, was just, I, I couldn't I couldn't pass it up. Um, I'm glad that I didn't. I love it so much. 
Um, it goes with so much. I've already worn it. I waited two weeks to do the video. I've had it for about two weeks now and I have worn it almost every single time I have gone out and I just, I'm absolutely in love with it. So if you are looking at a bag in this kind of shape um, and this kind of color, I highly recommend it. It also comes in a ton of other beautiful colors. When I go onto the website, I see some of the other colors and normally, I, you know, I really um, just am attracted to more of the more neutral tones since my wardrobe tends to lean on the more neutral side. But man, I tell you, when I was looking at some of those colors, I was like, this would work with a lot of outfits and this would work in that dark green one and the Dakota Johnson video. I mean, it just gets you. And having it in real life, seeing the quality of the bag. The, and I don't know if you guys had, had seen this also, one of the things I was most hesitant on was the leather that was used. Um, it looks, it looked quite shiny online in this color and I wasn't sure that I would like it in person. I wasn't sure if I thought it would just be, be too much. It is perfect. It just, it's such a high quality. You could tell it's very scratch resistant. Um, it feels great to the touch. It's moldable, but it still holds its shape. I mean, I just don't have enough good things about this bag. I think if you are looking for just a classic bag to invest your money in that you just want for years and years and years to come, I definitely recommend this one. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. I hope this gave you uh, more insight on the small size Jackie bag and what can fit in it um, and just the overall look and quality of it. However, if you have any questions, if you're thinking of buying one, comment below if you have bought one and you love it or if you have bought one and you find there's things that you don't like about it, um, please comment below as well. I haven't found anything yet, but again, it's only been two weeks. Um, but I, I do love this bag. And like I said, she's number one in my closet at the moment. Um, I just love it. So anyways, thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you all soon.